combined philosophy and art. This video is made for the Hackaday 2022 prize. A big shout out to DigiKey and SupplyFrame for making it happen. The theme of the challenge is reuse, recycle and revamp. It's all about tailoring projects to make use of existing resources, keeping them out of landfill rather than contributing to it. Our chosen resource to focus on is plastic waste. Our solution is a manufacturing system that allows people to produce 100% recycled plastic skateboard decks. The most unique and innovative part of our system is our mold, as previously it did not exist, so it's been the focus of our development. In its essence, we want to increase the accessibility of recycling equipment, enabling more people to recycle and hit the street. In our last video, we showed you how to build our mold. In this video, we're going to share lots of details about how to use it. You're going to need some tools. A heat gun, some cooling fans, a ventilation system, an extruder, and of course, a mold make sure that you have a good source of plastic available. We recommend polypropylene. Start preparing the mold. We're gonna begin by opening it. Once you've loosened the bolt, take off the support structure, undo the brakes and remove the mold. Apply a layer of silicon oil. Sprinkle a little bit of plastic by the entrance of the mold. Lower the top face back on the mold, reinstall the support structure and bolt it closed. Notice the arrows on the horizontal plate. This shows the direction of the flow of the plastic. Preheat the extruder and the mold. Make sure your ventilation is switched on. You're also going to need some safety equipment. Set the PID controllers to the required temperature. While they preheat, you can prepare your plastic. To check how the color comes out, you can extrude a little bit. Attach the nozzle of the extruder to the nozzle of the mold. You'll notice we added a tap to quickly look in the plastic when the mold is full. We also put a tap on the exit. Adjust the alignment bolt. Attach the nozzle of the extruder. To set the potentiometer to the lowest setting. Then press the green button. Turn the potentiometer up to around 30. Start filling the mold. Remember to stir the plastic. Continue to add plastic to the hopper. Once you see plastic coming out of the exit hole, close the exit tab. Press the red button on the motor control panel. Close the entry tab to lock the pressure inside. Unscrew the mold. Turn off both the extruder and the mold. Move the extruder away from the mold. Turn on your cooling fans. It takes around one hour to cool the mold. If it's less than 60 degrees, it's ready to open. Take a crowbar and lever between the handles. Once you have freed the top face fully and lifted it, move the mold out from underneath it, revealing your deck. You can lever the deck out of the mold with a flat, soft tool. There's a few last things we need to do. You're going to need some tools and some skate hardware. Take a metal deburring tool and give the edge of the deck a slight radius. You'll see eight pilot holes which have been marked by the mold. Drill all of these all the way through. Clean the edges of the holes. Countersink the holes on the top face of the deck. Clean the deck with hand sanitizer and then apply a layer of spray glue over the top. Apply your grip tape. You can line up one edge of the grip with one edge of the deck. Use a half round file to remove the excess grip. Install the trucks on the deck. Tighten the nuts and the bolts. Now we're ready to hit the street. myself on this you know, that my friend is <laughs> very hard to do and you have to train RPSD is a non-profit organization publishing free open source research about sustainability. If you would like to follow and support the development of this project, you can follow the links below. Spreading word about our project is a huge help for us. It opens a lot of doors. If you hear about any opportunities or collaborations, we're really keen to know. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Check out the 30 minute version of this video if you want to see the process in more detail.